Welcome everyone, today is a big video. We've got information on what? Planes returning to Fortnite. We've even got unreleased skins, new starter pack, a brand new weapon, and more information on the elusive mysterious helicopter within the world of Fortnite. There's so much to cover. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button to get notifications every time I upload. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. First up, a brand new starter pack is rolling out across the whole world for everyone in Fortnite. I've already picked up, it's called the Liguana pack and as you can see on screen here for the first time features a female character with a red colored chest also has a pineapple back bling and a pineapple weapon wrap that's a tongue twister with 600 V bucks cost me about 399 in pounds probably about 499 599 in terms of American dollars so if you want to pick up a new starter pack get a little bit of V bucks for a good price that's rolling out for everyone. Talking about skins, since this week's update is a content update, which means it will just go live instantly. There's a few more skins that will be released over the next week until we get our full proper patch and update with the following week's update. These skins will contain the Axiom and also the Prison skin, which have some awesome backlings and pickaxes as well. And there was also a Carbon Commando skin, which according to the in-game data is going to be related to some sort of promotion. So you may have to buy some sort of product or get something in real life, a bit like the phone packages to get the skin. Once we find out more, I'll let you guys know. But the skins aren't the only really cool things coming soon, as if you guys have been paying attention to my videos since season eight, you'll know that there's a category for animated camo wraps. One of the biggest ones, and one of the coolest ones, which is coming soon, and it's probably expected with the theme of season eight, is the Magma Camo Wrap. Obviously linking in with the massive volcano, this actual wrap has been put onto different weapons and different objects within the game through the coding and it looks insane. It's the first animated wrap coming to the game, hopefully come to the store very, very soon. Make sure you've got code ALIA registered in the store to get a shout out in a video just like all of these guys. As soon as they go live, I'll let you guys know we've got some bangers lined up in the store and I cannot wait, especially for that magma camo for them to come out. Now when it comes to OG skins, obviously it's a very uh, sensitive topic, but a lot of them have come back and they're coming back one by one and the OG list of actual skins that are super rare is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Now, specifically, the Renegade Raider is an OG Season 1 exclusive store item. However, it did get last week, and I showed on the channel, a new variant with, like, an orange racer hat on it. And people were thinking, well, if they bring that in, often it means that one of the versions is going to become to a store and the variants just keeping it exclusive for everyone that has it as an OG player. Now people have obviously been looking into it and we've been getting two types of responses. One of them actually comes from Dakotas who is a Fortnite streamer and who I know well. He said on his stream that someone at Epic has told him that the Renegade Raider was going to be staying an OG and will not return to the store despite the fact it got a variant. However people like to message Epic Games support and just directly ask them if skins are going to be coming back and what their plans are for the future and often the support emails reply with a little bit too much information a little bit like this case now this person called Casey actually went ahead and asked player support at Epic Games directly if the Renegade Raider will be returning this reply says it will be and he clarifies even further by saying that actually the new variant is the version that will be coming to the store and the old variant the old style hat on the Renegade Raider is actually going to stay a season one exclusive so we're getting two Two different reports here. It's really, really interesting. I don't know why they would add a variant if they weren't going to bring it back at some point. Personally, it would be nice if it did stay season one, and it is one of those skins which, if there's ever going to be a skin that's going to stay OG, I'd expect it to be the Renegade Raider, especially because of just how old it is and how exclusive it was back in the day for those season one players. We'll have to see. I'll keep you guys updated, but it is interesting that they got this reply directly from Epic. Final bit of information about skins is that for those of you guys remember the controversy around the NVIDIA skin, which was a skin bundle originally made for the people that got the really expensive new NVIDIA graphics card, but was then released with a female version in the store once the promotion ended. According to people at Epic Games, we will be getting, I say we because I will be getting it and I can share it with you guys once I get it. We will be getting our own alternate version, a slight change to the skin for those people that bought the original NVIDIA bundle and didn't get it in the store as almost like a saying sorry package for all of us. So as soon as that skin variant goes live, you'll see it first here on the channel because hopefully it looks pretty cool. Now on to planes, ladies and gentlemen, a controversial topic as we know they got vaulted at the end of season seven moving into season eight and were a thing that people loved 
and hated within the world of Fortnite. However, again, if you've been listening to my videos, you'll know that a fuel gauge sound indicator was added to the in-game files. Why would they add new sound files to a plane that had just been vaulted? Well, it not only turns out that they're testing the fuel gauge as a way to nerf the plane, but a streamer actually managed to get hold of, with his duo partner, a plane in-game in Fortnite in an actual public lobby. The plane must have glitched into their game and accidentally gone live just for a very short period of time. Showing how the indicator will work, you can see it on the left-hand side of the plane, and means that the idea of the testing and the returning of the planes is a legitimate, real thing that could happen sooner than we think. And I want to know what you guys think. Personally, if it's in a limited time mode, I do not mind. However, if it's going to be put into the normal modes, that's going to put cannon launchers, it's going to put the hamster ball, it's going to put the vents, and it's going to put the planes all into the map all at the same time. Nah, not keen on that, not keen on that at all. So far, no official word from Epic. This actually wasn't meant to go live in the game at the time that it did. Uh, we'll have to see what happens, but I wanted to share it with you guys as it looks like the reality of them coming back it's getting closer and closer. Now, talking about vehicles and planes, we have also got the helicopter. I covered this on the weekend as a really interesting part of the Season 8 story. For those of you guys who didn't know, a helicopter entered the map and has been rotating and moving around the map with a big, big uh, scope, a big, big telescope specifically coming out of the plane, looking and spying on certain parts of the map. The plane specifically hasn't been seen all the way since Season 4 when it was actually part of Dusty Did It when they were doing excavating and mining on the meat and enter the map. Well, since that video, in fact, the next day, the helicopter has already moved and actually ended up in the desert part of the map. So it's moving around quickly. It's scouting out a lot, a lot of the map. And whatever it's doing, it has something to do with the story of Season 8 as it continues to move around and continues to do its thing around the map. If you guys see it in a new location, definitely let me know. You're going to have to keep an eye on it. And it's going to be interesting to see how it ties into the storyline and just what on earth is going on with the government helicopter spying on the new Fortnite map. Now, for this week's actual update, we've got something pretty cool. We expected it, and we've been waiting for it ever since Season 8 started. As we know, within the Season 8 loading image, there's a lot of hints as to things that will be coming within the game. We've had the big treasure chest at the front. We have had the hamster ball hidden away in the background. Not too obvious, but it was hidden away there. Next up are two weapons that are on there. We've got the bow, and we've also got the flint lock pistol. And this week's update will include the flint lock pistol. Now, you may have seen this on the news menu already. However, I've got details on the rarity and the damage of this weapon as well, just to give you an idea of whether or not it's going to be good bad or something in between. Personally, I'm hoping it's really good because I just hate it when a new weapon comes out and it never ends up being that good and you never really end up using it. I want a new gun that actually is decent and people actually use. So let's take a look at the stats. So according to files that were found literally just a few days ago, slipped into the in-game files, we've got two versions of this flintlock pistol. It's going to be extremely powerful. Don't think like normal grey pistol with lots of small little shots. Think more hand cannon when it comes to this weapon. So it will be, according to this information, a grey and green rarity weapon. And it is, as I said, extremely powerful. The damage of the grey starting off as 86. And the green going all the way up to 90. Meaning if you're hitting headshots, you're hitting high 100 damage shots. 160, 180 damages. It's going to be absolutely devastating, especially if you're accurate. Looks like the damage of the weapon will drop off quite a lot. Dropping down to around 34, 36 depending on the rarity. Mid-range, about 50 to 60 damage or so. So, although it does a lot of damage, you don't want to be going too far with it, which is something you could do with the hand cannon. So it's more of a closer range, high impact, high damage pistol. And the magazine size is one, so you've got to reload after every single shot. The reload time ain't nice. It's uh, just over three seconds for the gray, and dead on three seconds for the green. So you need to be deadly accurate with this thing, otherwise you're going to be stuck in a long, long reload animation. And the weapon will take heavy bullets, so the same bullets as a sniper, obviously. This thing seems really interesting and could be absolutely devastating if you're deadly accurate, especially close range when the game just starts. If you can pop off a really deadly shot up to their head, um, but we're gonna have to see. As I said, I just hope it's usable. I hope it's a decent weapon because so many weapons recently, I've used them for update days and I've never touched them since. So fingers crossed when this thing goes live, most likely tomorrow, I'm gonna be giving it a go right here on the channel straight away. Do not worry. In terms of future updates, we've obviously still got that bow. There are a few other in-game 
files for other weapons that have been lying around for a long time now. So lots more weapons come to the game over the course of Season 8 for sure. And I'll be covering everything as soon as it goes out. If you guys want to see more Fortnite videos, if you want to find out specific more information about the helicopter that I talked about, there's a video on my channel right now. Or you can just check out my Fortnite playlist down below in the description. That contains every Fortnite video I've ever made. Shout out as always to all of you guys on screen here that have been using code Ali8. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you with the update as soon as it goes live with the brand new Flintlock pistol. And I'll see you guys then, right here on the channel. Goodbye.